Welcome to Girl Talk. We are at the Vinery today and we love coming here. We always have so much fun and we've been here quite a few times now, but we've got a new face. Yeah. And this is Stacy, and this is your first time here at the Vinery and you're going to be filling in here on Girl Talk now for the next couple of mm -hmm. months um, because Jessa had her baby. She so did. We are so excited for her and um, so happy for their family and she's going to be taking some time to get some rest and recovery and bond with that baby, yeah, right? Yes, she's soaking up some baby time. So I'm happy to Yes. To be here and to fill in and we've still got girls. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Janet and Elise have the day just off us today. today. So it's just us. Yeah. Um, we've been having fun though. Yeah. We we've, we've got a good dynamic duo going on. Um, and this is your first time at the Vinery, it right? Is. Yeah, and it's just so amazing um, to just see what they've got on display, Absolutely. Um, what's possible. And then they offer tons of classes too, so you could actually learn to do this yourself. And they start at a beginner level, mm -hmm. I understand too. So Which you, is so nice. Yeah, you and don't I, have to be an expert at it. Yes, and I know for me that's always the intimidating factor. Mm -hmm. um, because something like a mosaic, let's say, I have no clue what goes into making a mosaic other right. than it's pieces of glass. I don't know how to break the glass properly. So you could probably get injured. In my case, I probably would get injured. I'm a very accident prone person. I would be wearing like one of those cutting gloves, like those, <laughs> those See, metallic you're, gloves. See, you're smarter than me. That's what you should be doing, it's right? It's just because I'm klutzy. Yeah. <laughs> I've had too many run-ins with very sharp options. I should, I should take a note from you. That's what I should do. I actually saw a video online recently of the special glove where you can cook um, using knives or whatever uh -huh. you may be doing, and you can't cut through the glove. They yep. show, is That's that what, what you're talking about? Yeah. You have yeah. it? I have it because I've cut myself before, so. That is smart. I've cut my yeah. hands um, with a knife cooking twice now where I had to get stitches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm so, yeah, it only took me once to get the glove, so you need to get, you need to get. <laughs> I do, <laughs> I do. This is very enlightening. I love it, I love it. But let's talk about what else we got going um, on in so the show today. We've also got Harley Davidson of Madison on this on the show today. Dee Dee Sorg is here today. Mm -hmm. And she's going to be talking about um, what they have to offer in Madison. But also, I was interested to find out that they have um, beginner riding classes. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, where beginner classes are important, yeah. where you might be intimidated. And she said that they are willing to offer um, women-only classes, if that's something cool. that's maybe holding you back, which I think it might be for some people. Yeah, sure. Um, I think for somebody like me, I've only ridden on a motorcycle once, and it was really exhilarating but terrifying at the same yeah. time. But I think for me to feel comfortable you know, owning one, that's something, having a, that class, um, teaching you all the things you need to know, not only keeping you safe, but mm -hmm. just having that reassurance is really important. And we're also going to be doing a throwback today to Contours when we were last here at the Vinery. Um, so you'll see Jessa in there, but kind of a time back warp. there. Yeah, right, <laughs> reverse. <laughs> but we're gonna be throwing it back to them because it was just such a great um, interview with Tia Lynn from Contours. She is such a smart lady. She's going to be showing us some before and afters and they're going to blow your mind. It is incredible. They actually lift you inches. Her bras really? with the correct fitting will lift you inches. I mean, that's relieving pressure, back pain, you name it. So that'll be coming up later in the show. But coming up first, we've got Harley Davidson of Madison. So you're not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned to Girl Talk. We're here at the Vinery, only on Wisconsin's 57. Welcome back to Girl Talk, and we are here today at the Vinery, and we'll be chatting with them a little bit later, but with us now we have Dee Dee Sorg, and you are the marketing manager and also the lead riding academy instructor over at Harley-Davidson of Madison. Welcome. I am. Thank you for having Thanks me. Thanks for Absolutely. being here. Absolutely. So it. let's get started. Let's just talk about Harley-Davidson of Madison and what you guys are all about. We are all about customer service and family. Uh, Virgil W. Schulenberg, Wolf as he's known to the motorcycling community, Started Hawk, Sock Prairie Harley Davidson in 1979. Wow. And in April of 2015, the opportunity arose to come into Madison, and thus we have Harley Davidson in Madison. Wow. So we are the only Harley Davidson dealership in the greater Dane County, and we're here to service, whether it be from sales, service, uh, riding academy, rentals, parts and accessories, we do it all, start to finish. A lot of different stuff, it sounds like. We do, yep. Now, on a different note, I have to ask, did I hear that the Sock City store was closing? We did. Uh, at, as of to 
October 1st, we are closing the doors and we're excited to bring all that experience into Madison. Okay. So we have tons and tons of years of longevity there in Madison, in Sauk, and we're bringing it into Madison to better service our customers. Sure. Now, kind of on that note of talking about motorcycles, obviously, which motorcycles are best for women? There is no right answer to that. <laughs> <Sure>. because, <laughs> Trick question. Yes, Harley <laughs> Davidson makes over 30 different models. Sure. And as women, we can ride whatever we want to ride. There's no single fit to that. So whether it be that the bike is too tall or the handlebars are too far out, we can fit that motorcycle to you with swapping the seats out, pulling the handlebars back, or actually lowering the suspension to bring it closer to the ground. I didn't know that. I didn't know they were that adjustable, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Huh. Yeah, I thought they were just kind of a right. solid and movable thing. No, exactly. <laughs> no, we can do a lot to fit that bike to, to any person. Very cool. Now, I saw that you have a Learn to Ride program. Now, for someone like me that's never ridden before, could I take that class? Absolutely. The program is designed for somebody that's never ridden a motorcycle before. So we have a safe learning environment. We offer classes April through October. Uh, in the course of three days, you can actually learn or earn your motorcycle license. Wow, that's yes. quick. Yeah. Yes. Um, you spend a lot of time on the motorcycles. Uh, we take nothing for granted. So we start with the very basics and then move on to street strategies and things that um, you'll encounter when you're out on the road. Sure. About a third of our students are women. We'd like to increase that. Um, we even offer women-only classes if that's something that people are more comfortable with. That's a great option because, you know, maybe if somebody does feel intimidated mm -hmm. and that's holding them back, yep. you know, no longer can you use that excuse. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Sure. Now, I also hear that your store is associated with MDA or the Muscular Dystrophy Association for those who aren't familiar. Tell me more about that. Absolutely. In the span of 31 years, we've raised $2.2 .2 million. Wow. And that money all stays local here to South Central Wisconsin in places like the UW hospitals and clinics the American Family Children's Hospital. We have um, been involved with the Harley-Davidson MDA Foundation. We're actually the longest running uh, MDA ride for Harley-Davidson. And typically we end up in the top 20 in all the dealers in the nation. How cool. Wow. What a great you know, accomplishment proud very proud of to that. have. Awesome. Yeah, and you should be proud of that. That's Absolutely. a wonderful yep. cause. Mm -hmm. So how can people find out more about this? Maybe if they're wanting to do the Learn to Ride or mm -hmm. just, just come and shop? The <laughs> best way is always to come in the door. We're open seven days a week. Again, 6200 Mill Pond Road over by Ho-Chunk Casino and Gaming. But you can check us out on the website at hdofmadison.com. Facebook is Harley Davidson of Madison. We've got an Instagram account, Twitter account. Um, we are there. You can come find us. You are connected. Yes, yeah, you we are. are. Yeah. We're, we're, we're out there. You I can, love it. You no gotta excuses. be right in this day and age. Yes, you do. gotta Absolutely. be awesome. Well, Dee Dee, thank you for being with us again with Harley Davidson of Madison. Thanks I for appreciate being on Girl Talk. Thank today. you very much. We thank appreciate you. it. And we'll be back with more Girl Talk here at the Vinery right after this. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We're filming today at the Vinery on East Washington Avenue. A little bit later, we'll meet with the owners and learn about classes they have to offer and all the things that they do inside their glass studio here in Madison. But next, right now, would you guys agree? <laughs> drum roll, please. Uh, drum roll, please. <laughs> would you guys agree that the longest love-hate relationship a woman has is maybe with her bra? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know I have one of those myself. Mm -hmm. Right. But this woman right here is all about changing that into just a pure love kind of thing. This is Tia Lynn. She's with Contours Lingerie. That's on Mineral Point Road, right? Yes. Thank you so much for coming in today. Now, we've talked before about how a professional bra fitting can be life-changing. It can lift a bust up to four inches, mm -hmm. improves your posture, your comfort. So you've brought some before and after pictures, love that kind of stuff, <laughs> for us to talk about a lot of the common problems that we women experience in having a good fit with our bra. So let's start with talking about the back. You'd think we'd be all about the front, but it's about the back too. <laughs> and that little roll, that little bit of back mm. fat that no matter what size your body is, we all seem to struggle with. Yep. Every woman worries about her back as much as her front. I think it's because we don't know what's going on. <laughs> right? That's so true. It's like so mysterious. 
yes. what is happening? What do yeah. I look like back there? <laughs> and, <laughs> yet at the same time, you know, when you look at the, the photo on this before and after, you'll, I have to tell you, the bra on the left, the before is a 48 inch band and it's just riding up her back and it's creating those dents. You would think that loose would be so comfortable, but visually, not mm -hmm. so much. Okay, right. so we love a good before and after. Let's take a peek at this one again. We got to sneak peek, but look at that. That is crazy. It is really incredible how different that looks. Oh, yeah. And you said the, the bra on the right side is actually tighter. Yes, that's a 42 double D, so it's fuller in the cup, so her breast tissue is no longer sitting at the sides. You can uh -huh. see how it's just lifted from yep. the back end, and she is so much more comfortable with that support going horizontally around That's her. That's what's so incredible about that is you would think that this bra on the left was fitted so tight that yep. it was causing that. Yeah. But really, it went tighter and, and it looks smoother. Absolutely. And Tia, you said you just took this picture. This isn't like taken off the internet. This is someone that just yes. was in your shop, what, a couple mm -hmm. days ago? Yes. Wow. Just this week, we took this photo on a customer that walked right through the door and the next one as well. Wow. Your first love relationship. Okay, next. <laughs> so this next one here, I know straps are always a big deal. Mm -hmm. Straps falling off, straps being too tight and uh -huh. hurting. That's why we have long hair. Right. Yes. <laughs> right? This is fixing mine. And so this next before and after has to do with a kind of story with those straps, right? Yes. You know, visually you look at this and you think, oh, well, she looks okay in both wow. photos. But her straps are falling. And when I went to measure her and she lifted up her arms, the girls actually fell out from below. Oh my goodness. Think of how uncomfortable <laughs> and annoying you that You don't want that be. happening. Surprise! Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, and if you look, she actually looks a lot thinner on the right. Oh, and for sure. she's seamless. You can't tell where the bra begins or ends. It's and very polished. Even if you don't have some of those bigger issues, you see it so regularly. I'm oh, sure, yeah. you know, we've all been victim to this at some point in time, if not regularly, that, that you can see exactly where the bra mm -hmm. starts and ends. And it's hard then. You don't want to buy shirts that are nice and smooth and fitted like that, even if you do have a beautiful figure like this woman does, mm -hmm. because you can see every thing about the bra. It's so tough. And you think it's your mm -hmm. shirt, you know, I right, gotta yeah. get a different shirt. Okay, we have one more. Choice. We gotta squeeze okay. in one more. Let's get to it. So now this next one is a side view, is that mm -hmm. right? So same yes. girl, right? Same girl. I don't know how to from I'll the let you. side oh, there we view. Go. Wow. Okay. Look at how heavy the and is. round the bust looks on the before and how lifted and young she looks on the right. That's incredible. So we're doing a 360 here, not mm -hmm. just the front, it's the side, it's the back, it's it's from every angle. Yeah. What's interesting about this one in particular is if you look at it, she's actually standing with the exact same posture in both photos. Mm -hmm. yes. Although she looks slouched in on the left and she <laughs> looks like she's standing up straight on the right. I right. noticed the same thing. Yeah. I thought that yeah. was fantastic. Just uh, one bra. Well, we one are bra. out of time. Gosh, yes. these were super enlightening, super mm -hmm. fun too. And if you would like to get that kind of bra love going for yourself, <laughs> this is the woman to do it. This is Tia Lynch is with Contours Lingerie in, on Mineral Point Road. We'll be right back. More girl talk right after this. Welcome back to Girl Talk, and it is the moment you have all been waiting for. We finally got these guys from the binary, and with us today we have Denny, who is the owner, and Josh, the jack of all trades is the title. The we'll Josh of all trades. Josh yeah, the Josh of all trades. Yeah, all trades. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's even better. Thanks for having us here today. We love coming here. Oh, our pleasure. It's so beautiful, and it always makes me really inspired, you know, coming here and looking at all the beautiful different things you have to offer and on that note kind of exploring all of the different things that the Vinery has to offer let's talk about your fall class schedule what's that looking like we have a whole slew of classes coming up this fall we have a haunted house um, as you can see behind us we have some examples awesome. a Halloween plate <laughs> nice 
I love it. <laughs> it's yeah. always so much fun because I know for me, um, I try to decorate, you know, in the yeah. fall. You can make your decor. own custom decorations. That's mm -hmm. what I mean, and that's a lot of fun, and that's something so much more meaningful than picking something up from the store, or maybe giving it as a gift, you know, to somebody that you care about. What a mm -hmm. cool way. Well, we have a whole host of other classes also available. We have uh, several beginning mosaic classes. Awesome. And one kind of has a Halloween theme that is going to. Uh, kind of inspire people that I know a lot of people are really into Halloween and decorations and things like that. I love Halloween. I don't know about you guys, I, but yeah, I it's do one too. of my favorite holidays just because I think I love dressing up and planning a costume. I get pretty into it. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, yeah, I've already mm -hmm. got mine planned. <laughs> you do? <laughs> yeah. I haven't decided on anything yet, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm brainstorming right now. But the mosaic class, that's really cool. That's something I've always wanted to try, and it's cool that it's a beginner. Well, course. it is. It, it's fun because people can come with no skills and uh, we kind of teach them how to manipulate the glass and break it down into different shapes. And we have one where we take a, a glass block and we actually, we cut a hole in the side of it and you put lights on the inside and wow. then a mosaic on the front. So it's a, ah. it's a, makes kind of a nice, it sets a nice tone and kind of even like a night light, it, it sets things off. Very cool. What a cool addition yeah. to a room or space. I love it. Now, what about ladies' night? I keep hearing about this. Um, I think Elise I, was at it, yeah, right? Yeah, she was, she said was. it was a huge success. Can you tell us a little bit more about ladies' oh, night? I'd love to. Uh, it meets uh, once a month on Thursday night, and uh, every month we have it offer a couple different projects. And uh, last month, uh, actually, I came to film a little bit of a commercial, so I promised I'd have lots of people <laughs> there. And uh, we we closed the booking at 40, and we had about 15 people show up the night of. Oh my so gosh. we actually had to turn a few people away. But it's it's set up so uh, ladies can come and just have a relaxing evening. They can bring wine or beer and, and snacks, and uh, it's just a lot of fun. So it sounds like people should definitely book ahead, though, because you're Most having to turn people it's away. Been, it's been a pretty popular class for us. It's full quick. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. how much fun. <laughs> and now, last time we were talking to you guys, you guys were beginning, beginning restoration of several windows from a church. How is that going? We're going to be climbing the, uh, the ladders pretty <laughs> soon here and installing those. But uh, pretty much, uh, you know, some of that old glass is kind of hard to match. So, yeah. so you got to get some samples out and find that old glass. and. And we pull apart the windows, we pull out all the lead came, it kind of degrades over time. So it's kind of like a giant puzzle of reassembling the, the piece all back together. But what soon cool enough. Project. Yeah. 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 He's I got, know. He's got, he has one done. And one it's, done. It's, okay. it's looking great. It's looking one great. done. One How done. Many more two, to go? two more to go. Two more to go. Yeah. Wow. And that's just that one, uh, one project. We got several more going <laughs> 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 I mean, I know for me, I hate puzzles. I get so frustrated, <laughs> really? you know? And I don't know why. It's one of those things that's like a big joke for people who know me really well, that I, I hate puzzles and Monopoly. So don't ever ask me to play Monopoly either. But good for you. That's hard. No, yeah. That's tough I stuff. enjoy puzzles. So. Yeah. There you go. That's why you're in this line you of work. You gotta love getting those special puzzles. Oh, definitely. Too, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it's something uh builds your patience, and it's enjoyable to get something out back into people's churches. Where, they yeah. enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of people are going to be seeing it, too, yeah. and enjoying it, like you say. So I also see here that you're going to be a presenter at the annual Wisconsin Art Educators Art Educators Convention. This is in La Crosse, It is, right? and uh, I've done this for the last six years, and uh, it's, it's really fun to kind of connect with the, the art teachers. Uh, what I try to do, I mean, you know, my goal is to bring art class into the classroom. So uh, I usually have a booth set up that uh, explains some of the different processes. And then uh, every year I present a different uh, topic, you know, to, to a group of teachers. And uh, this year it's fused glass. I'm, I'm interested in bringing fused glass into the classroom. And uh, so I'm looking forward to it. And over the years I've got to know quite a few of the, the teachers uh, in the state. So it's kind of like getting together with my <laughs> friends once a year. <laughs> so fused glass, what is that? Yeah. Well, it's, it's a melting of glass, different pieces of glass into in a kiln uh, to form different shapes. And, uh, for a school setting, usually uh, we concentrate on smaller things like uh, fused glass pendants, uh, little okay. dishes and bowls. But uh, some of the classes we teach here, we you know we, we get into larger pieces. But for, for in the classroom, we try to keep it small, and the, the pendants seem to to have an interest and in, uh, and in doesn't you know cost a fortune for the, the supply side. 
Sure. Yeah. Now, last time we had you guys on, you guys were kind of offering something special for our Girl Talk fans. Is that still available? That is still going. Yeah. Okay. So we still have five dollars off uh, any class if you if you want to register online. Um, the coupon code is WI57. Um, you can just yep, type that right in the little coupon code area there. Um, and, and also, if you come in and say that you're you're a Girl Talk uh, listener. Um, we have uh, a free pendant. You can come in and actually get some some uh, fused glass experience cool. of your own. Yeah. Now, yeah. can we cool. use those codes? Oh, I guess yeah, so. I, I guess so. Yes. 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 That, yes. that is yes. our treat. No, no tricks there. Oh, <laughs> made my day. I love it. Awesome stuff. And then you also said, I think that you were going to offer a mini lesson of one of your fabulous classes. Yeah, is that still for, planned? Yeah, for the the next session that we're going to do, rather than have us sit in the chairs here, we're going to get behind a table and we're going to actually take one of our classes and kind of just do a mini preview of the steps oh, involved so people fun. can get a, an idea of kind of a hands-on, you know, what it's like and uh, hopefully we can lure some of the <laughs> listeners into our store by showing you that. We're oh, going to have to fight excited. over who gets to be a part of that segment. <laughs> I think I that want we're all going to have to fight our way in. Right? Maybe yeah. we can all find a way to be Absolutely. a part of it. We'll have to see. Well, thank you guys for being with us thank today. You. We thank love you. coming here to the Vinery. So again, this is Denny and Josh over at the Vinery. Be sure to check them out and thanks for being with us today. Thank, thank you, you so much. Mm -hmm. And thank you all for watching and thank you to all of our guests today. You can find us next time only on Wisconsin's 57.